Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great today. I have a little bit of an unboxing to do and trying out some new products a little bit. So first off, I'm going to get into what I've been trying out. And I've been getting some different types of printing paper. Well, this isn't actually paper. It's more like a plastic film. And this is made for laser jet printers, which is kind of cool. So they're clear. You can put them on like an overhead... Um, I don't know if you remember when you were in school and stuff, those overhead lights where they used to put the piece of paper on top of a table with a big light bulb on it and there used to be a head on there with a mirror and a um, uh, lens on there and it used to reflect on a wall or the blackboard or whatever. So I've been trying trying them out a little bit just to kind of see what you know they look. So this is transparent. And I printed it up on here, and it worked out pretty good. It actually came out kind of nice. I like this side better because it's got a glossy side to it. So that worked out kind of cool. Um, so I was thinking maybe if I could find something like this with an adhesive on the back of it, but I don't know how clear that would be. It might not. It might look a little funny. But I can make, you know, start making my own stuff maybe. I don't know. Like I said before, I'm not going to, like, not get rid of... Jeff Lee over at Diamond Cut Graphics because you know his work is pretty fantastic and I'll never be able to cut vinyl the way he cuts the vinyl as far as making logos and stuff so this is just something for artwork not logo. So first off I have a little bit of an unbagging to do right here and this is going to be for my next project. So what I ended up picking up is a set of Tone Ninjas and these are Ooh, a sticker. It's a locking tuners from Tone Ninja, and you can see they are six in a row. These are kind of nice. I've never used these before, Tone Ninjas, um, so I'm not too familiar with their products, but they kind of work the same way as everybody else. It feels pretty good when turning them. They don't feel gritty or grinding or anything else. So that's this. Put that here, put that there like this this on top close this up put this off to the side like I said this is for my next project and my next project is this big box right here so this is something that I found online it is a used part It's a 2010 used part that somebody started and I guess never finished. So oh, there's more tape on here. Can't say that the person didn't pack this really nice. All right. Is put this off to the side. Let's see if there's anything else in here because there might be a bag pertinent. No, nope, it's not. Escaping air pillows. Get back in. All right, so I can get rid of this. off to the side. Alright, so let's unwrap this baby. Looks like he wrapped it up pretty good. Now this was a project that somebody started and they never finished it. So I kind of jumped in when the person put it up for sale on eBay and it's like fuck it I'm going to grab this because I was actually looking for this body style to do another project on and he did a halfway decent job with painting it can't say he did a real shitty job I don't know why he didn't finish or complete it I just ran out of time or something. All 
All right, so here we have it. Let me get it out. It has the string furrows in it. Still smells like paint. Did a decent job with painting it. Now there's some marks in it that uh, could have been filled. There's the bridge. I hate these bridges. I hate these bridges with the springs on them. What do you do, glue it in? There you go. Yeah, I hate these bridges with the spring on them. I, I, I throw these away. I don't like them. They're garbage to me. So this is the Jackson Kelly. This is the J. S uh, 30 that I picked up and originally it looks like it was blue I can see some blue tints inside here it's not all beat up messed up or fucked up I am going to have to get some parts for it though which is not a big deal yeah I think I'm going to sand strip this thing down all the way to wood and start over again maybe see if there's a veneer on this or not probably doubt it so I got a neck that's coming for this thing too it's a Jackson neck I also ordered a set of EMG's 8185 active pickups and I picked those up for like 170 bucks um, the seller had bought them uh, didn't use them I guess and he still has like all the pieces all the parts they're still wrapped in plastic and the original box and everything else. So 170 bucks for a EMG set. Fuck, I grabbed that too. So yeah, this will be a nice project. I've been looking for this body style. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty decent. It's not bad. I pluck the string furrows out of there. That's pretty easy. What I do is I'll take a screwdriver from the other side and pop these guys out first and then take the screwdriver on this side and pop the other ones out. Just a small Jewish screwdriver. But yeah, it's a lot of real estate to put uh, some type of artwork on or to do something with. And that's kind of what I want to do. The paint job that this guy did is not bad. I mean, it, it's a flat black. There's a little bit of a texture to it, but it's not like... It can't be smoothed out and clear coated. That's it does have some sanding marks over here. Looks like he was trying to fix something. Um, a big deal. Not a big deal at all. All right, so that's my little unboxing. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll catch you up with you all later.